We got called out yesterday and today to assist the Air Force Emergency Management Team with setting up a few radiation exercises. The circumstances that the C-130 that we've got sighted here was actually forced to the ground. It was a flight from South America in route to Canada and they saw some suspicious items aboard the plane that um, read some red flags that alerted them to call hazmat to come in and actually assess the scene. They got called out to search for the plane. They get their briefing from their incident commander from their command team and decide what level of personal protective equipment they need to get into. In this case, they chose their military issue mop gear. After that, they grab their various detectors, load up all the extra stuff that they don't immediately need in that cart, and then in their hands they're carrying their immediate life and safety detection tools so that when they actually do get down to the plane and make entry, they know exactly what they're dealing with and whether or not it's safe for them to be in there. The two airmen that came down here brought a variety of detectors, including radiation, air monitoring, and chemical agent detectors. The team back in the trailer, the command team, really has no idea what's going on, especially inside the plane. They can't see any of it. So the downrange team calls back on their radios to make sure they're keeping everyone informed of any potential hazards that they find, as well as mapping out the actual site. Confirm two REM on the Cobalt 60. It was very successful. They managed to identify a Cobalt-60 radiation source that we had hidden in the plane. Go ahead, pack up and head to the decon line. From the civil support team, if we're not on real-world responses and emergency calls, this is a lot of what we do, setting up exercises for other agencies and ourselves. So this is an absolute joy for me to be involved in.